well hey everyone in this video i'm going to show you how you can actually create a connection between a master and a worker node of kubernetes so in kubernetes i'm going to work with kube adm and all these stuffs i'm going to perform inside aws so let's jump up to the aws dashboard and click on ec2 because we need servers right master and a worker node so let's click on instance and now you need to click on launch instance now now what we required is we just need to create a name of our instance so for me i'm writing cube master and for an image i'm going to select ubuntu because i love working with ubuntu and its type is going to be t2 medium because uh, for master node it is very very uh, necessary to at least having two virtual cpus for worker node it is okay to have a t2 micro but for master it is really very necessary to at least having two virtual cpu that is t2 medium so now need to create key pair name so key pair name is required for a login purpose it is basically a security purpose thing so let me create a key pair it is going to save a pem file and uh, it should be downloaded now let me show you uh just click on downloads yeah it is downloaded as you can see now just jump up to the bottom and select all the http request which is coming and uh, now you just need to create uh two instances right so let's type two here number of instances and click on launch instances now instance should be created let me see yeah instances has been created now let me rename one instance name as cube worker and just need to wait for some time to get its states turn into running and let me refresh it once okay now both are running now need to create one need to connect master node and a worker node one after another let me connect master ones and now need to connect the worker okay so now we need some sort of commands i'll put them in a description or in my blog so that it would be easy for you guys to understand which commands we need to perform let me quickly copy paste these commands so first of all i need to update my server so let me type this command sudo app update hyphen y so it will update the server and after this i need to install docker so yeah now need to copy this command sudo apt update docker.io hyphen y so it will install docker in my server so let me wait for some time and let me check whether this docker has been installed or not docker hyphen hyphen version okay docker hyphen version is the command yeah docker has been installed now i just need to start docker and enable docker with the help of command sudo systemctl start docker and enable docker yeah now we need some sort of key rings to install kubernetes so this typing curl and this key ring and sudo just copy this command simply echo yeah it is showing permission denied because it requires a super user so i'm just going to type sudo su and now i'll copy that command again now yeah it got passed now we need to update the system again and uh, after that we can uh, copy this command to install kubernetes kubectl and kubeadm so i just copied it entirely so as you can see it is installing right so i i believe kubernetes has been installed here so just follow the same thing in uh, worker node itself so let me copy paste all these things whatever i have just done on uh, the master node so i'm just copy pasting the same thing 
So master and a worker node should have the same dependencies. Okay, so it is giving some error. Okay, so it is required sudo in front. So yeah, it is creating. Okay, I think Docker has been installed, but there is some glitch in the terminal. Let me refresh it once. I think after getting it refreshed, I can see whether Docker has been installed or not. Docker hyphen version. See, it is installed. Let me refresh it once. Now I'll let me check docker hyphen version. Yeah, docker has been installed. Now I need to do the other related changes. So just copy paste all these commands. Now let me create a super user sudo su. Now copy that echo command and all the stuffs. I'm just copying it entirely. Okay, so now in the master node, I just need to uh, initialize kubeadm. So after initialize kubeadm, with the help of command kubeadm in it, it will create one token for the connection. That token I need to put on uh, the worker node. So it is going to be connected for, with the help of that token. So here, uh, let it get loaded it will give us three commands and one token so as you can see at the bottom cube adm join is there right cube adm join this this uh, token we need to copy in this worker node and uh, as you can see at the top we have three so three commands make directory this and this so we just need to copy that command one after another in the uh, master node and after that uh, we need to copy this join command kubeadm join in the worker node so right now i'm just copying uh, these all three commands which is given by a uh, given after initialization let me check the pods now as you can see no pods are available so why no ports are available because it is there is no connection right now we don't have any connection with the worker node right now so for that we just need to copy that join command and just paste it in worker node and it it will uh, accept the version 5 so hyphen hyphen v is equal to 5 so now it is not connecting because it is expecting 6443 server IP address. So I'm just, I just need to go to the instance uh, settings and just click on security groups. And I just need to add one new inbound rule that is uh, going to be a custom IP of 6443. Let me create a new inbound rule. So it is going to be 6443 here and it, it should have all the access like it should be public. So now it should be connected after a while. See now it's done. There is a connection. So I just need to copy this command sudo not sudo kubectl get nodes or get pods. So as you can see no pods are available. So need to write a command kubectl get nodes. Or yeah get nodes see as you can see two nodes are there that means our worker nodes and our master node has been connected it is connected to each other let me compare the ip address of my worker node so let me check the private ip address of this worker node so as you can see 172312690 is there let me check in terminal uh, yes it is so that means our master and our worker node are connected to each other and this is what i want to show you people like how to connect master and a worker node of kubernetes with the help of kubeadm so this is what it is and uh, 
let's jump up to the worker node now and follow some sort of commands like let me type docker ps to check the containers so as you can see containers are here so uh, like this only you can follow some sort of commands and perform as per your requirements thank you so much